Hi everyone! Today we're going to be doing a video on how to use the buttonhole foot on the Brother Project Runway sewing machine. This sewing machine has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine types of buttonhole stitching. You can see here, it has the shape where the button will go to. For this video, I'm going to be using the stitch number 35. Things that you will need are a buttonhole foot. This one came with the, the Project Runway machine, but you can buy these separate in any local craft stores. Your button. Whatever button you use is fine. You just have to make sure that it fits on the foot. You can close this and as long as it fits, you'll be able to make the hole, the button hole, nice and snug. It doesn't fall. So you just open it to put your button in. You also need your project, whatever you're doing. This is just a fabric scrap that I'm going to show how to do the buttonhole. You also need a seam ripper. You can use scissors to make the, the hole, but I would recommend a seam ripper. You can buy this in any craft store. And of course, you need your sewing machine. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is put in your button. Going to open this. So this is how it looks like. This part, it goes on your sewing machine. You can open this and the button will go here nice and snug and this will tell you the the size of the hole that it needs to do the size of the stitching so let me turn the sewing machine to show you a better view this is the side view of the sewing machine to to um, change the foot, you're going to click this and that makes the foot come off. Now, we're going to replace, we're going to place the foot where the original foot was. To do this, there's a lever here that brings it down and raises up. So, so this is the front of your machine and this is the back. We're going to position the short end towards the front of the machine and the long end to the back of the machine. Now here, there are two little hooks on the uh, on the button hole foot there's this lever that will tell your machine that you're making the button you you bring this down and this will go towards the back of the first hook let's raise this up and let's position the foot so the short end will go towards the front. We're going to raise the foot a little bit. We're going to position 
the foot and the foot will clamp onto the little, this little metal bar here. Gonna lift it up. Gonna try and maneuver the foot just like that. And you know that you clamped it properly when the front goes up like so. Now we bring this lever and we put it behind the first hook. And now we are ready. Now we can take our fabric scrap or whatever project you're doing. You can position it wherever you want the hole for the button to go to. I'm just gonna put it in the middle. I'm going to bring it this down. But before you start, you have to remember to change the stitching. So I'm going to do number 35. We're going to click this three times. One, two, three. Then 35, like that. So the foot is A, and that means that's the button hole. Foot A, and we are ready to start. So I have my fabric scrap, my foot properly in place the lever here behind the first hook is threaded and we're ready So here you're going to notice that the machine is slowing down and it completely stops. This will tell you that it has finished sewing the buttonhole. Now we're going to raise our needle. We're going to take our fabric scrap, cut the threads. Just like that. Isn't that cool? Now, you're going to have to take your seam ripper and you're going to place it in just carefully. This will make the opening for your button. Carefully. Just like so. Now we can take our button from the foot. Let me raise this up a little. In the back. Let it loose. Take our button, slide it out, so. and let's see if it fits. And there you go. You just made your button hole.
pretty cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you can follow me on my social media sites. Happy Sunday!